simple silo here. And before I hit the ground real quick, can you please hit the like button on this video? Because I'm about to die and I'm going to cut up. Now you might be asking, is it a smart idea to spawn a wither directly underneath your base in your mining tunnels? My answer to that is, we'll see. I have an enchanted notched apple if we need it, but I don't think there should be. Got a good bow. That is concerning. You want to come back down here and play? Oh, there we go. Now you're in mad mode. Oh, shit. That's not good. Thank you for expanding on my mining operation here. I'm going to be able to find so many more diamonds. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was only a little sketchy. I was not expecting him to come up and hit this giant pocket here. That definitely caused some issues. But, you know, we survived. We thrived. And we're gonna just run it back, no water. Ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You scanned the shit out of me. Oh my god. I was not expecting company down here in the mines. Boom. Oh, he disappeared. Uh oh. Where did he go? Oh, he's fucking stuck up there. Okay, so don't spawn him underneath your diamond tunnel. This is probably the worst wither fights that anybody's ever seen. Look at this, I can't even hit him. Oh, this is pathetic. <laughs> I swear for a second, I thought that he like went under the void or something. And then I just was probably not going to be able to kill him from there. <laughs> oh, so bad. Okay, well, that might have been the worst wither fight of all time. But look, we got it, we survived, we have two nether stars, we're all happy and good. Alright, perfect, thank you. <laughs> well, I ate my notched apple, which is kind of a shame. Although, I'm glad that I put that to good use. I, like, I don't know what else I'd use that for, maybe if I fought, like, a warden or something, but... The warden is easier, you just need to get, like, a little, uh... You need to give him a toy. And once he's got a toy, he's happy, he'll just sit and stare and watch at his toy all day. That was a bit of an adventure. I still have my resistance and fire resistance on from the notch apple, which I had to pop because of that. But I'm happy. Look at this. We got two, two beacons. So that means I can have one here and I can have one in another location. Another location which, with all the shulkers to my right or your left, we are going to travel across the world and start a little industrial area really start getting business booming on this server because i am not rich enough i can be head to toe plated in diamond armor double fist and beacons but i am not rich enough until i have every single last diamond on the server we're over here at spawn because i wanted to come over to luma's mending shop unfortunately she hasn't really restocked the inventory but i saw that uh, Nukecraft put in an order of 10 diamonds for 10 books, and I figured that I could do the same. I know this original diamond was mine, but I'm really needing mending on all this stuff, because I'm starting to get some good gear, and I'm not really wanting to lose it. So, Luma, if you see this video, please, we're asking you, we need, we need some orders fulfilled over here. Like, your shop is in obvious high demand, like, you got a backlog of orders going on. I do see that we have a few more shops coming and popping up over here. So we have a mangrove place, which three diamonds for a stack is honestly reasonable because mangrove logs are kind of a pain. And then two stacks for one diamond, that makes sense because those are easier. Okay. Leaves. Oh, those are pretty leaves. Okay, two stacks. Oak. Two diamonds for 64. I don't know about that pricing, so we'll see. I did also see that we had a mysterious rock pop up over here too, and I have been eyeing down this shop as our cobbled deep slate for two stacks for one diamond. 
And I like building with this block as it's just nice. Also, sorted. So if I wanted to come in and get some of this beautiful diorite, this is honestly the most beautiful block in the game. Everybody loves diorite. I've never seen a video of anybody ever bashing on diorite or how it looks. And there's some stone, which is good because for some reason I keep running out of stone. It's not something you would think that you would run out of very often. But I do, and I keep running out, and I also keep only mining in the deep slate layers. So, spawn is... it's growing. I want to be able to add a shop of my own here. Alright, so I have decided that I wanted to build my path out a little bit over here, and I wanted to have my, my port system, like a little dock here. But instead of having a normal boat dock, it's going to be my nether portal. So I spent a little bit of time grabbing up some obsidian so we could make it nice and pretty. I don't think I'm going to go too over the top on this, even though, because this is just my uh, my starter base here, but I want to get linked up into the portal because I don't want to keep using rockets to fly back and forth over there. So I was thinking uh, mainly it's going to be made out of mangrove, so it's going to match the, the main theme of what we have going on here. And I think that the uh, these mangrove logs are going to look pretty good just as our main like walking template on everything. So in fact, like I wanted to kind of have like I think like something of that sort. And I like that you can rotate them as well. Uh, just had a little bit more variety in there. So what I'm thinking is I'll have that going on and then I'm going to be using deep slate tiles for the just kind of the main movement of the bridge itself. So let's see, I wanted to get a crafting table going and have some stairs for this. Don't have enough stairs. So nothing too crazy, these are just kind of going to highlight the main parts of our bridge over here. And I do want some of these sticking out on the side as I think that looks a little cool. And again, it, this'll just, it'll just come down from the bridge. It'll be a nice little pathway and entrance onto the main part of the house. Uh, I don't know how much of this I want to actually keep or how much I'm going to move around at all. So I'm just going to build for a couple minutes and I'm going to see what I come up with. Uh, would you look at that? The beautiful sunset. Isn't it beautiful? Is it not just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I have no idea how he knew that I was doing something cool over here, but I just had a great idea. So sea lanterns are looking good, but would make it look even better is if we got some of these. I've already got a couple of these laying around, but put those up there. Oh, yes. Oh, come on. Does that not just work perfectly? Because it's subtle. It's way subtler than these torches are. I want... Hmm... Lanterns, or maybe soul lanterns would look good there instead. Regardless, I built this portal, it looks good, and then I want to go sync it up to a portal that I'm about to go build in the nether. If I did all my calculations correct, we should just hop in here, we should sync up directly into the portal that we just built over at my house. Oh my god, and look, we have a guest, a forest wanderer. Ooh. Oh, this is the micro block thing. You are actually don't walk in the nether, please. You will die. You are not. You are not good enough to survive in there. Okay, get some emeralds. I'm glad I found some of these in the mountains. I found some of these in the mountains. So let's see. If we can come over here. Hey, come here, buddy. So I would like a vine. I would like a jungle sapling. I'll get more of those eventually. Well, there's llamas in the nether now. That shouldn't be a problem, right? Yeah, they'll be fine. No need to worry about them. They'll just they'll just hang out there. Oh, I'm so glad that works though. I love being able to link a portal so easily. Like, it's exactly on the layer I wanted, it's nice and easy and good to go. And for now, like, this is going to be boring, but I'm just going to put it right there and I'm going to let it grow over. 
Oh, the ambiance of this area is immaculate. And now, ta-da! In the moment of truth. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's by far going to be my favorite way of getting wood. Let's do it one more time. I want to hear that noise. This is some good ASMR. Oh, would you look at that? The large tree have grown. And with the diamond axe, we can hear the ASMR sounds. Very nice. Anyways, that is going to be my way of getting charcoal right now because I don't even bother mining for coal. Look at that. In like 10 seconds. So I know in last episode I threatened that I was going to finally come back here and finish what I started, and I have done just that. I have now added an ender chest and an enchanting area, and if we look up here a little bit, we can see that all of this is carpeted. So the only place that an enderman might be able to teleport would be at least on this grass block here. Now, I will say that this is not the safest landing. It's a little scary. I don't know how to fix that. If you have any suggestions, please let me know down in the comments, because right now you just kind of, you got to sweeve and whirl and just come all the way down and hope you lose enough of momentum that when you land here, you don't bounce off directly into the pit. So a few other things that maybe eventually I'd like to add, it would, I mean, we could put just um, at least a grindstone. That's the most important thing. So if you get something you enchant and you don't like it, you can just come over here and you can de-enchant it. So. As far as that goes, I'm pretty happy with all of this. I know that it's already getting a decent amount of use on the server. Newcraft told me that he had been using it, got up to like a level 120 or something, which is just absolutely ridiculous for for how often that I have been dying. So I came over here to spawn because I want to show you I've done a little bit of work, at least expanding out this road. For now, this is just like a preliminary understanding where the road is and where the boundary will be so people can start building shops. So. We got a rocket shop that popped up already, which is nice. Decent prices, I'm gonna try to beat that. Uh, I didn't say that though. Don't tell him. This literally has popped up today, an iron shop. Two stacks for one, okay. That'll be nice. I don't, there's nothing in there yet. There's nothing in there yet. Anyways, so the main thing I was showing, I, I got all of this road built out. My original plan was I wanted to try to find a way to get another link up to the roof of the nether. And I swear to God, I tried for like an hour, but it just kept linking back up to here. So I think I'm not going far enough away, but I did get another portal that is linked up to the top of the nether, which it's, I'm not going to say it's hidden, but I don't want people using it all the time. If you catch my drift. And here we are on top of the nether with my very own nether portal, which this is not my first one. This is the one that I want to show off today because this is the portal that we're going to be using the most often in this series because this is going to take us into our own very island. This is what I want to be working on. This will be the industrial district. I have already lit up this entire area. It's a massive island. There's all the mobs I want on here. There's at least the cows and the sheep that I really want in here, which I will be honest, that's probably the most important ones that I want to be working with. And for now, I'm going to keep this place a secret. Um, I'm not trying to keep people out, per se, but I just, I don't know. I think it would be, oh, I thought I heard a creeper. Oh I just feel like it would be better if I don't have people coming in here and, you know, fiddling with all my gizmos and gasmos and whatnot. So, one of the, I got a couple plans for a bunch of builds that I've never really been able to do because I haven't had the resources or the time to be able to, like, really hunker down and just, like, create, like, a fantastic industrial area. So, there's a few farms that I've built before, which you're going to see popping up here pretty soon. Like the first one I'm going to start with today is going to be an all mob farm, which I'm going to put off, I think, over on that side. So it's it's something I'll use a decent amount at the beginning, but as we carry on, my main plan is I want to be putting a large farm out here that's going to give us a lot of really good items. A lot of stuff that I don't think anybody else on the server is 
going to want to build or doesn't have the idea to build yet. So, uh, again, going to keep it a big secret so no one can build it before I do. And even if they do, it's really not that big of a deal. It's not like, this is friendly competition. Keep that in mind. Like, all the competition, all the shops and whatnot, like, at the end of the day, it's all just to help all of our other members here on Cobblecraft. It's not, like, no one hates each other. Like, we are just all here. We're working as a team, even though we might be a competitive team at that. So, I am going to hop into a little time lapse of me building this all mob farm that I want to get. I will see you soon. Alright, so we're over here in the replay mod, and I wanted to see how all of this was functioning and making sure everything was functioning right, because I did a few checkovers on all the other locations, but I wanted to make sure that everything was actually building as I expected it to, and that the mobs are falling down where I needed them to. So, they all come down here, right? Big. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, so I built this. Eight blocks too high. I don't know why. I just had a hunch. I had a feeling like it's all the spawn rates are good, but as soon as they fall down to that, they don't actually die. So I'm gonna move my platform down maybe eight blocks or so and then do a quick little update and see if this is working a little bit better. Yes, okay, so just moving it down. I think I ended up doing nine blocks because I wanted to be sure it works perfectly. I have my little viewing platform if I ever want to be down there. I can now say that our mob farm is done. Isn't it so beautiful? Look at it. In all of its glory, it's just sitting there so menacingly darkening up the sky during the day. I have also done a little bit of work over here on my industrial district. I flattened out a ton of this area. So I eventually think it might be good to flatten out this entire island However, I'm going to be waiting on that as I need more space. For now, this will get me started on a few basic starter farms, so this was the main farm I needed. And then if we come over here, this is going to be my plan for the next farm that I want to build. However, we are out of time for today's episode. I know it's a shame, but it was running a little bit too long, and I think I want to start doing these a little bit shorter because I feel like whenever I go over 20 minutes, it starts to drag on a little bit. Please let me know if you like the longer form videos or if you'd prefer shorter content. I'm thinking sub 20 minutes. I don't know, maybe somewhere between like the 10 to 20, maybe average of 15. However, I could give you a quick little teaser of what's going to go on this farm, but I'm not going to because you're gonna have to tune in the next episode to find out what this little boxed area is going to be that is all mapped out except for one little scaffolding. So thank you very much for sticking with me until the end of the video. If you're new here, please hit subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with your friends. Until then, I will see you next time.